Hey YouTube, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to do a uh, little video on uh, magnetizing. Uh, I've got a Space Marine Commander here which I've magnetized. Well, what, what I'm so got a power claw or lightning claw or dude's head, arm, combi melta. Yeah, you know what? Let's put a fist on. Don't like that head. Another head. Yeah, you know what? How about a com? How about a plasma? Yeah. No, you know what? Let's switch that to a bolter. Anyways, you can totally pose them different ways. Um, I've got. Uh, to do this model, I used 19 magnets. Uh, they're two and a half millimeter. I could have gone as high as 33 magnets if I uh, if I uh, did the torso and the legs and uh, did the shoulder pads, but I'm not going to go that extreme. Anyways, the tools that you need you'll need super glue to glue your magnets in. Your magnets, two and a half millimeter magnets. Um, this is what I used. Two millimeter would be, I think, a little bit better. They might not be, they should be strong enough, but in all cases, they may not be strong enough to hold arms overhead. They may just hang down. So two, two is better for power claws and such. Um, and a couple heavy duty sewing needles. Um, a drill bit, two and a half millimeter, size of the magnets, or even better, I use a three thirty seconds, which is about a little better than a tenth of a millimeter under the size of the magnet. So that way, when it wobbles when you drill, because the end, if you when you when you put the drill bit in, you might go a little bit over. You you bore out the hole a little big bigger than the bit. You'll get a nice snug fit. If uh, you over drill on the sides on say one of the guns like this uh, combi plasma pistol and you over drill on the side just use something like uh, uh, Vallejo green stuff or Vallejo plastic putty number 400 uh, this stuff's great uh, I've got to thank uh, girl painting for leading me onto this product and uh, then you can get at it the most important thing though with magnetizing is making sure that you're putting in the magnet properly into say the gun so it latches on to the arm. You gotta make sure you got the proper polarity. That's why you work with the magnet, you keep the magnets on one of your your uh, sewing pins so you can before you glue it in you can test it up against there and if you that's you put up oh well you know what that isn't going to work you want you want them to repel each other when you're testing so you just put it around this way and if it repels and doesn't go together you know that this side is what needs to go into the appendage that you're putting it on putting it on that way your pieces will stick together anyways um, I will apologize for the choppiness of the stop-motion video because it's my first time doing one with this camera it may be a little speedy in places but please post any comments and questions you have and I will try to explain or uh, maybe repost a, a, a slowed down version and uh, all that well if you haven't subscribed subscribe and I hope you enjoy and uh, we'll see you again cheers prior to starting this video I'd already set the magnets in the arms and the torso of the space marine captain after watching this I'm sure you'll be able to figure out how to do so after doing this, after you, the next thing I did was take the head. You set the center point where you're going to drill with the by pressing the needle into the head at the base and drill in. 
You set your depth, check for the polarity, which is the most important part, then you glue the head in. You basically do the same thing with all the other appendages. You check the arms, figure out where the center point is, where you want to drill. Drill it in, set for depth, check the polarity, glue the arm in, or glue the magnet into the arm. With all the other arms, sometimes they're very, you're very close and you don't have much more space than the two and a half millimeters and the when you drill you may end up drilling through the side a bit and in that case and that sometimes happens with the guns so in that case you use something like green stuff or Vallejo plastic putty to touch up an edge which you can then finish paint over And there's all the pieces. Thanks for watching.